Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about the caption property. And even if you know what the caption property is, you might not know these tricks I'm going to show you. i got a couple tricks up my sleeve. So here we go. Let's talk about the friendly neighborhood caption property. Now, lots of things in Access have a caption property. And sometimes they behave differently than in other places. For example, if you look in a table, let's go to the customer table here and you'll see that fields like first name, last name, whatever, they've got a caption property down here. Now, I don't often use this caption property, but if you do put something in there, this caption will become the label that's associated with it when you bring this field into a form. And also, it'll be the column header in a query. So for example, if you don't want it to say first name without a space in the middle, you can come down here and put first space name as the caption and then when you bring this into a form or a query, it'll look like that. It's a, just a little time saver. Let me show you. All right, let's go to, uh, I'll just go to the single form here, design view. And I'll change this form so it gets its data from the customer table. Okay. Now, when I go to add existing fields, if I bring in first name and last name, let's say, click and drag, drop them over here, you can see last name doesn't have that space. Let me make these black so you can see them better. Do, do, do. All right, last name does not have that space because it just makes the label exactly what the field name is, but this guy's got a space in there. So it's a little bit of a time saver. That also happens, let me close this, when you make a query, create, query design, base it on the customer table. And if I bring in first name and last name and then run this, you'll see the column headers accordingly. Now, I personally don't like that for the column headers because for me, my end users should never be using queries directly. They should be interfacing with forms and reports only. So queries are for me if I want to run a query. And I want to see what that actual field name is, right, instead of some other substitute for it. So I don't like that myself for queries. So that's one reason why I generally don't use the caption property in the table. Another thing that is similar, by the way, that a lot of people don't know, and I cover this in my Access Beginner courses, by the way. Um, in addition to the caption, there's also this description over here, which is optional, okay? Usually I say that's for you, but keep in mind, if you put something in there, it's gonna show up in the status bar on the bottom of a form whenever the user tabs to that field. This is the customer's first name. Okay, so if I put that in there, save it, now again, if I build a form, and I should have saved this change before, sorry. Let's make this bound to the customer table again. All right, if I add a field, let's add first name and last name again. All right, save it, and I'm gonna close it and reopen it. Okay, notice down here it says form view, right? When I tab, tab, look at that. I just tabbed to the first name field, there's the caption, there's the description, it pops up down there. So you can use that for notes for yourself if you want to, or if you want to give instructions for the, the user of the database, you can put them in that description field. Now, as far as the actual caption goes in form, let's go to the customer form here. You'll, you'll see captions in a lot of different controls. Labels have a, a caption property, obviously. Buttons have a caption property. The form itself has a caption property. So if I go design view, if I open up one of these controls, properties, Right, go to the All tab, you'll see there's Caption right there. You can put whatever you want inside there. We know that one already, All right? See, first name, there's the, the new caption. Now there's some tricks you can do. When it comes to text boxes, all right, this label is attached to this text box. Okay, see how they're attached? As long as it's attached, you can come over here with the caption and you can put an ampersand in front of any of these characters and that becomes like a hot link. So if I put ampersand name like that, right, first name, hit tab, notice you get the little underscore there underneath first name. What does that mean? Well, let me save this and show you. If you've got a field that you like to jump to a lot, let's say I tab, tab, tab down here, and I want to jump back up to first name, alt N. And there you go, it'll jump you right back to that field. So if you got a couple of different fields where you jump around different spots in your forms, you can assign little caption hotkeys to them like that with a little ampersand sign. Same thing goes for buttons. If you make an ampersand in front of the caption of that button, that means Alt-C will now jump you to that button. And if I open this up and press Alt-C, I just push that button. 
See? That's cool, right? Now another trick I teach in my classes when it comes to captions is I've got this label caption right here, all nice and set. I got the dimension set, the color, all that, right? If I want to change this, all right, put an exclamation point after it, and look at that. See? I pressed enter and it it changed the size of the caption, tries to auto fit it. So let me undo that. If you want to make a change to this caption without altering the size of that label, open up its properties and change the caption property there. And now notice the label doesn't resize. Now, those of you who know me know that I love a little VBA, right? A little programming. You don't need VBA to be a good access developer, but it certainly helps. And if you know just a couple little commands here and there, you can really make your databases a lot more powerful. The caption property is no exception. You can manipulate that caption property in your VBA code. So if you've never done any VBA before, go watch this. It's a primer, about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. Let me show you a couple cool tricks you can do with VBA with your captions. Now I cover this stuff in my advanced and developer classes. And uh, let's go to the customer form again. Now one thing you can do is you can change the form caption property based on the first and last name of the customer. Let's say you want to see you know what the first and last name is. There's an event for the form called on current. That happens when you move from record to record or when the first record loads. I've got a whole separate video on the on current event if you want to watch it. I'll put a link down below you can click on. But let's say when we move from record to record or when this form opens up, I want this to say customer colon Richard Ross or whoever. All right, so in the on current event, we'll go right here, dot, dot, dot button. And in the form current event, I'm going to say me dot caption. Now me, when you're in a form module, all right, we're in a form module, form customer F, me is the form itself and caption is a property. So caption is a property of the customer F form, of pretty much every form. All right, so me.caption, the caption of this form, equals customer, and then maybe a dash. Or let's do a colon, let's do a colon. Customer colon and first name and a space and last name. All right, let's save that. Close the editor, close the form down, and reopen it. Look at that, customer dash Richard Ross. And as you move through your records, you see that, All right? If you go to a blank record, there is no first name, last name, so it just says customer. That's fine. And you can check for nulls and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can change the captions of labels on the fly. You can change this in the after update event so that updates when you change these fields. You can change the captions of buttons. And I cover all this stuff in my various courses. Um, they're peppered throughout my developer courses, so I really can't point you to just one. If you're a new user and you don't want to get into programming yet, Access Beginner 7, I spend a lot of time dealing with the caption property. And in Access Advanced Level 2, this is where we start programming with macros, I show you how to make a button on your order form that you can flip between quotation and invoice dynamically. So if it's an invoice, it'll say invoice. If it's a quote, it'll say quotation. And I've got tons of other tricks and tips I show you with VBA with the caption property throughout my developer classes. So I, I, I cover it in like 15 different classes, a little bit here, a little bit there. So if you want to know more information about this, you'll find links down below. So there you go. There's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, 
plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.